I have a question for you which I ask clients when they come on certain courses with me. It's a question you will find interesting and you may even possibly have asked yourself. Plenty of disaster movies ask this question of the viewer but they rarely give a clear answer. This is an opportunity for you to find out how close your answer would match that of others. So here's the scenario I present to you. A global flu virus has wiped out most of the world population and only 1 in 10,000 have survived. You have to form a self-sufficient community which comprises of 10 members. The question is, what are the preferred skills or occupations of those 10 people? This question always provokes a heated debate when I ask it during a course and its primary purpose is to help people recognise how much in our modern world has become divorced from the necessities of life. As you come up with an answer you will realise that the question would be much easier to give if there were 15 or even 20 members of the group. And that's why it's only 10, to find out just what is really absolutely necessary for a community to function. You can list your 10 preferred members of the community in the comments section. I would suggest that you resist the temptation to look at what other people have answered. Your own view is as valid as any other, so stick by it. Once I've received answers from this video, and a couple of other sources I am asking the same questions of, I will compile what the most popular answers are. If my experience with clients is anything to go by, there will be quite a range of answers. I will then post a video which explains the results. Hopefully, the scenario posed here won't come about any time soon. But in the meantime, answering the question will get you thinking about just what does make for a reasonably comfortable life, and what is surplus to that. A group debating this normally takes about 10 minutes to come up with a reasonably thought through answer. I would recommend you give yourself that amount of time. I hope you choose to have a go at this, find it thought provoking and I look forward to finding out what you think.